What's up, people? This is Skip Goes Hard. Man, y'all know what it is, man. The most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. June 14th, 2018. Y'all read the little whole ass title. You know what it is, man. Look, I am in a very, very sweet shoe store in the big building with all the stores in it, as you can see in the background. And um, we all know that the last shot 14s came out today. Day. They came out today and I have a size 8 right here in my hands and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pair this size 8 to this kids model right here But before we get into that I want to talk about just this release as a whole um, These this is a size 8 so Some places I know some stores they sold out where I got my last shots, they only had 18 pairs, they sold out. But as a whole, this shoe did not sell out. And then in the videos that I made before, I was talking about like, everybody who's at least 30 years old and up, they remember this shoe. They remember all the times this shoe released. I remember this. I had this shoe uh, three times already. And my thing is, look, this is, it's a new generation right now. Air Jordan 14s were, were never that hyped up of a shoe. Facts! And I said that before. I was like, you know what, people are gonna disrespect this shoe just because, you know, it has all the memories that we, that we remember from this shoe. You know, all the things Jordan did in the game, whatever, blah, 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 against Utah. Yeah, that's nice. But when it comes to the new generation right now, they don't care about this. this the Air Jordan 14 was not and never was a hyped up shoe. That's why, to me, this shoe did not, people didn't really go crazy over this shoe. Um, I believe there are still pairs left on the Nike sneakers app, but like I said, like, the hype is not on the Air Jordan 14. Facts! Hype was on Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 11s. Y'all, help me out. Which are the Air Jordans? Threes. Threes. A lot of hype. A lot of hype on 3s. 1s, 3s, and 11s. But the 14s, there's not that much hype there. Yeah, Jordan scored whatever he did, and he hit the last shot, coining the name the last shot. But people don't really care about that. Facts! The younger generation, they don't care about that. That's why this shoe did not sell out at all. I like the shoe. So when you have this men's eight and this size four wide right here, you can tell, we all know that they do more for the men's sizes and kind of leave out certain good materials for the kids. Like right here on this men's pair, you can see how smooth the toe box is on the front is real smooth, but when you come to the kids area, the kids shoe is rough. It's like they don't really care about that. And the funny thing about it is that women usually complain about the materials they use for the men's shoe because women wear kids size shoes. Now you already know that the kids are not really complaining because the kids, they just want to wear the shoe and they want to see all their friends with the shoe and they want to brag and blah, blah, blah. But women, they're not really all into that. So they just want, they want the same stuff. Women complain about the same materials that they want on the men's shoes and they get shorted look on the inside of this men's air jordan 14 you see the like the little air vent right there there is no air vents on the kids straight plastic and then when you look on the bottom of it you have that red that is more of a metallic type red on the bottom right there on this it's a dull red. It's not really that red. Well, it's kind of like, it looks like maybe like an infrared if you're comparing it to my gloves. But as a whole, even on the sides where the black is, you can see a little bit kind of like a little glittery effect right there on the men's size. But when you come to the kids, it's just shiny. Kids, AKA women's sizes. But that's like one of the main reasons why this shoe did not sell out because, like I said, Air Jordan 14s are not hype. It's Air Jordan 1s, Air Jordan 3s, Air Jordan 4s, as you can see with the Travis Scotts that released. When did they release? Like last week? So that Travis Scotts? Oh, Travis Scotts last Saturday. Last Saturday, yeah. 
All right, pretty much what you're about to hear in the background is uh, some commotion going on at a store across from us. You'll see what that store is. Pretty much there's like three or four people outside that store and they were really trying to get at whoever was inside that damn store and yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm not editing that. I'm keeping that in there. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, we just had some something going on over there. But yeah, back to what I was doing. These shoes, like I said, there's no hype on these Air Jordan 14s, man. Um, Fourteens, yeah. Um, black, red, <laughs> and the yellow on the side. Now, with the Air Jordan 14s, I know I said it in the other video before, but each Jordan has seven Jumpmans on each shoe. Make 14. You got one Jumpman on the side right there, that's one. You got the Jumpman on the toe box, that's two. You got the Jumpman on the bottom, that's three. The jump man on the back, that's four. The jump man that's inside of the shoe, I don't know if you all can see that, that's five. And then each jump man on the shoelace tips, six and seven. Seven jump mans on each shoe, 14, Air Jordan 14. Um, this For the ones who did not know that, I know a lot of y'all know that, but I just had to just let you all know. Um, but besides that, Air Jordan Last Shot 14, I picked my pair up. It was a size 11. I'm happy because, like I said, I had this shoe two times before. Um, she said call security. Call security. She security. Why can't they do? You all, there was a little um, something, something going on at some place and somewhere, and yeah. Hey, um, yeah. Besides that, hey, that's it. Look, I'm Skip goes hard, man. The most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Like this video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. You know what it is. Make sure you watch those ads and watch those booties. Because if you spent $200 on these shoes, you better not be walking around stinking. You don't want to do that because that's not a good look. Is that a good look, you all? All right, you got to watch that ass. You got to. I mean, is this, is this what you do? If you're going to spend $200 on a shoe, yeah. But that is it. You all take care, and I'm out. Peace.